Fortnite Gay 69. Please don't tell me you made it. Well, that's it. I am mad. Look, I, okay, hold on, I'm mad. Okay, what the? I have returned. What the fuck was that? Hell yeah, brother. Two blank for you. Lando. Sky Turtle. Calm Murder. Moo Kill. Oh, okay, here's it. Sick Anime Babe. My favorite character. <laughs> Domain Lord. Uh, the Shoozer, Lubrican, Channel Socks, Sauce God, Simp for Eden. Who the frick is Eden? Oh, yeah, that Eden. Oh, you're not here, are you? Mm -hmm. No. Oops. No. Next, and perhaps most obviously, is Sunshine. You've got the flight at your disposal. A lot of opposing opinions on that little device. The biggest gripe is that it removes the edge from the platform and makes the game too easy, mainly by allowing Mario to glide. That is not a point I can argue. It does make platforming a heck of a lot easier. The thing is, though, I don't care one bit. Much like Mario's spin in Galaxy, gliding allows for more complex platforming design and reduces the number of frustrating restarts. But mostly, I adore the variety that blood adds to the game. <clears throat> Compared to 64, sometimes controls are so snappy and fun, and throwing in the different flood abilities makes controlling Mario just so much better. It's just more than regular Mario. I can't tell you how much time I've spent in the city just screwing around, sliding super fast, jumping around buildings, blasting all over the place. Then there's the fact that acquiring new blood abilities opens up new secrets, and as you know, item and ability based soon? progression is vitamins for armor. And speaking of variety, that's another thing Sunshine has in Spain. There are just so many different things to do in the game. When you enter a world looking for a shine, you never know what it's going to have you do. Roll fruit around, cool off flaming chops, clean a bunch of muddy gunk junk, make Yoshi barf on the locals. <laughs> uh, that, that was one of the shines, right? The point is, you'll end up doing pretty much anything. 
sometimes what the game wants you to do is extremely tedious and requires a few tries. <clears throat> but I still can't help but appreciate how constantly things change up. For whatever reason, I'm just not as satisfied with the game where all I've got to do is get from A to B. And that's what Mario is now. Accomplishing a myriad of tasks is just so much more significant. Now here's something people really love to disagree on. The story. Sunshine probably has the most story story of a 3D Mario. It's got voice acting. And weirdly enough, the story is another thing I like about the game. No, Mario doesn't need to have a deep story. And yes, Sunshine's voice is pretty terrible, but that's not the It point. is. The point is that it has, again, variety to the game. It gives motivation to the player. I know that sounds silly. Mario doesn't need much. He jumps on the guy with the voice acting. But I, as a player, crave a little story to get motivation. I'm less satisfied with Mario where you just have to move forward because Bowser says so, that's why. He says so. Very gameplay away, and I want a reason for going that's even 1% more than because Bowser Brad Page is waiting for the torture. Sunshine's story isn't much, but it's something, and that something is what I want. You gotta clean up the city and clear Mario's name, then, oh no, Grossy Mario is trying to take Peach and you gotta chase him. Now, oh my gosh, it was Bowser Jr. all along. Now some other stuff is happening. It keeps things moving. It makes the game a smidge more interesting. I don't really Dude, what the fuck just happened? Thing, but for whatever reason, that's just something I appreciate as a gamer. And that's how I feel about Super Mario Sunshine as a whole. It's made up of so many parts that don't fit into Mario the basic formula. They just happen to be the things that I love having in my game. Other people think Galaxy is really more of a Oh my god! Uh, yeah, I am mad! Who all is this? Supposed to do? He literally blocked me. I ran into him and he freaking. I just want to play the game. So I hope this video helps some of you to better. Come on! That was be shit. That was bullshit. That was shite.
Esquarrão. I believe in you, you can do it, yes. I finally remembered the best war of the five Italians. The, the, the non arc ones. 2014 was the best one. Oh, that's another stink bug. They're everywhere! Hey, DJ, are you. Is your mic muted? Oh my god, I got grab up on the on a second layer. God. Why do people grab on Hexagon? Is, is it you? Is it me? Or somewhere else? Um, or is there like stink bugs freaking everywhere? Well, I don't know what like what freaking continent you live in. But for up here in the North America, North North, there's a lot of stink bugs, like freaking tons of them. And they won't leave us alone. I know you've heard of Spongebob, have you watched the episode, uh, where, uh, Car where Plankton makes Karen 2? Oh. Have you seen that episode? Because Hatterene reminds me of Karen 2 from that Spongebob episode. Like, no joke, it reminds me. Oh, every- is everybody- Hold on, I'm gonna spectate other people. Okay, so there's one guy purple layer. You are in the yellow layer. I'll see where he, I'll see where the Oh! Oh DJ, you're you're above everybody! You got look how much room you have left. I right, to play right if I do not make mistakes. Oh god. Three losing, people left. Okay, ground. so don't lag. Alright, there we go. I think you can traverse throughout here. Okay, last guy. Okay, so there's like a bunch of spread out hexagons all over the place. It looks like you aren't able to make it, but there's enough mass everywhere to, to make it. Okay, but he has more than you, so I would recommend trying to go over there before... Oh no! No! Oh! Oh! Oh, that was, a, that was, oh, sabotage, ultimate sabotage. That was 
Amazing. Oh, I hurt my throat so much. Oh. But that was so good. That was the most clutch thing. Okay, I gotta change uh, skins. I, I 